Blackburn Social Club. God bless America. <clears throat> I'm out here doing a walkthrough just to kind of get my mind wrapped around the next steps and you know how far I want to take this before I take a break. Uh, one, I checked in on the Mr. Cool Mini Splits and they seem to be holding at about 65 degrees, which is kind of where I wanted them. I still have some, you know, small uh, things to, to wrap up down here, some trim uh, that I should be able to get to in the next couple of weekends um, before I, you know, put my attention upstairs with the flooring and the railing and, you know, everything that comes with that. One of the things I wanted to mention about this is I have very little interest in bringing a whole lot more into this area. Now there will be a sitting area over here, so I'm currently kind of looking for that. But down here, I went through a lot of effort to declutter and get this stuff gone. But, you know, I, I, I've had tables and workbenches and tools and, and shop presses and all kinds of things, air compressors that you just, I mean, I know you need them, but you seldom need them. And I have another place here that they can be stored so that I can use them while I need them. But I don't want this building cluttered up with just random stuff that you need once every, you know, three or four months. So that's what I've done is I've reorganized and kind of changed my philosophy of how a shop or what a shop or a garage is used for. I've spent the last 20, 25 years of my life hoarding uh, tools and equipment that, for that one-time use or that one-time thing. And I don't know. I, I just always, always walked into my garages, and I was overwhelmed with how, you know, messy they were, or how, you know, just the, how I felt. I, I kind of wanted to hurry up, get in there, and get what I needed done done, and, and then get back out. And I did not want that for this place. This place, I wanted this to feel like an inviting area that you could come in, you could hang out, you could smoke a cigar, you could look at your car, wipe it down, enjoy it. I mean, do you can do small stuff in here. You can do minor stuff in here. I just don't want it to be some place that I don't anticipate tearing an engine down in here, or if I did, I would just take precautions to, you know, set up a workspace, set up a work area, keep it clean, and uh, and then quickly put it back to this condition. I've kept one toolbox in here. I've got two different tool chests. This one was actually my father-in-law's. He had passed away, so kind of uh, in honor of him, I've kept this tool chest and I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna incorporate a lot of my tools into, into his, clean this up and, and make it, of course it's a good rolling top, uh, a rolling tool chest with a workbench top. So I should be able to, to basically get it anywhere in here that I'll be working. Um, like I said, I'll have a sitting area up here. That's that's just that. It's a it's a place. It's going to be a place to just hang out and uh, take all this in. And now with the Mr. Cools and the things like that, it's it's comfortable enough out here that you don't you, you're not going to feel like you're uh, you're going to feel like you're inside. You're at, you're at home. Eventually upstairs, again in the loft area. There'll be railing and there'll be stuff like that, but that's going to be a workspace, a, an office space, I should say. Um, couch. Uh, kind of a, I don't know, a bigger lounge area. So, just wanted to do a, 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 a just a, I don't know. It was raining outside and I thought I'd come out and just do a, a walk and talk. You guys tell me what you think. Be blessed.